New York City real estate bouncing back from the COVID-19 pandemic. I want to bring in the CEO of real estate firm Brown Harris Stevens, Bess Friedman. Bess, good morning. Good morning, Cheryl. How are you? I'm, I'm in shock of what's happening in New York City real estate, and I'm seeing it in other cities as well. Bidding wars, all cash offers. <laughs> what happened? Well, I think, Cheryl, what we saw was, you know, during the pandemic, we saw a lot of people leaving from the suburbs. Then we saw a frenetic, frenetic market in the burbs. And now those people, a lot of people have returned to New York City. They feel safe. Uh, people have been vaccinated. Uh, restaurants are busy. They're open. Uh, theater's going to open again, Broadway. And so I think people are very excited about what's going on in New York. We're going to have a new mayor. Uh, we should have the results soon. Uh, and a new leadership will bring a lot of good things, we hope. So New York City is definitely back. It just came off of an extraordinary second quarter. But I, one thing that I'm a little concerned about, though, in the second half of the year, you have this eviction moratorium, right, that, that goes through September. And then you also have, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of the banks, I mean, if, if people just didn't pay their mortgages over the pandemic, the banks had to because of the government you know, let it sit. OK, you're, you're behind a year on your, your mortgage. OK, but all that's going to come due. If somebody all of a sudden can't make their payments in September, October, November, I think there might be some foreclosures hitting. I don't know about the New York City, but maybe in some of the suburbs, uh, whether it's New York or, or Chicago or San Francisco. I mean, I, I do you, are you hearing anything about that? I mean, it's a possibility. Obviously, it's been very challenging for many people who are still out of work, uh, the more vulnerable. And so I think, um, but in New York City, I don't see foreclosures in our future. In other places, there could be some of that. Um, but I think people are little by little coming back, going back to work, showing up. Uh, and I don't think that's going to be such a big issue. I'm sure there will be some foreclosures, but I don't think in yeah. the way that you might think. Maybe not um, here. Feeling better yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, maybe not in the city, but yeah. I just, I don't know. I mean, maybe in some of the suburban markets. Patrice, I mean, you know, one of the things that I've, I, I've thought about a lot and, and I've talked about somewhat on, on other networks, uh, other shows, excuse me, other networks, is that if you don't have a safe city, then what does that mean for real estate? If you don't, if crime doesn't get under control, whether it's New York or Chicago or San Francisco, then why would I want to put money down in real estate in one of these cities? Well, I mean, I think no, it's, it's a really safe, good point. Let me, I'm sorry, Pat uh, Patrice, real quick, I want to bring it. Thanks. Hold on, Bess. I want to bring in Patrice. Well, I think Bess kind of touched on it, which is that, you know, new leadership in New York City potentially could bring a different approach to how crime is being dealt with. I mean, obviously, when you're seeing random tourists getting shot in, in Times Square, you know, I think these are these are the kind of concerns that obviously are going to go into be a part of play here. Um, but, it, you know, it seems like investors and people who are trying to snap up those good New York City deals, maybe they're not they haven't been considering so much the, the impact of crime. But when they move back down there, I, I assume that's going to play an impact. I'm sure Bess can speak more to that. Yeah, Bess, what do you think? I mean, look, safety is paramount to our future. And I think the reason why Eric Adams is doing so well and could most likely be our mayor is because he made that of primary importance. Um, I think that the media gets carried away with crime. I don't think that it's as bad. I live in New York City. I'm there every day. I raise children there. Um, yes, crime has ticked up and safety is super important. Uh, 1,100 new police officers have been assigned to the subway. So ridership is up. People are feeling better. But, yes, we have to make sure we're a safe city because without that, we have nothing. Um, so safety and also taxes. We have to make sure that the legislators don't drive all the wealthy people out of New York City. So I think a new mayor is going to be an and mayor, not an or. It's going to work with the business community, whoever our leader is. It's going to work with our most vulnerable and um, figure out ways to get affordable housing. It's going to work with the legislators. We have to be more proportionate. It shouldn't be these extreme, you know, uh, uh, political narratives that sort of polarize people. We want to work together as one so that New York has a big future. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to do that.
I, I, Bess, uh, I'm with I you. I live mitigate. here. You know what? I live here too, and I love this city. And, and if you if you see my angry tweeting, you would know that because I have been disgusted by what I've seen happen in the last year to a place that I, I've loved and lived in for 17 years. But you know, yeah, you may not see the, the crime numbers in Manhattan, and maybe Manhattan real estate is where we're seeing this big uptick. But the the other boroughs, you know, not so much. I mean, but but real quick, you said something I want to follow up on. You know, you mentioned the taxes. I mean, the state legislature, the, at least in New York State, I got to be clear here. I mean, the, it's a super majority with the Democrats. They're talking about taxing more. They're talking about raising taxes. They don't care if businesses flee. They don't seem to care if everybody goes to Florida and never comes back to New York City. Can can a mayor really have that much power to deal with that, Bess? Well. This- Yeah, I think the mayor will have an influence and they have to care because if you don't have developers building buildings and you don't have companies having their home base in New York City, the whole city will suffer. And I think the city council, you know, we just finished that race the primary, um, and there, there's a little bit more balance and more proportion, uh, and that decides the budget for New York. Uh, you don't want to demonize the wealthy. There's a lot of people who have a lot of money who want to yeah. use their platform to help I know. others. And, and they do it. more about politics. And that's what they you know? do. It kills they me. They do it. They You're right. Me. You're yes. right. Yeah. Those we gotta keep. We're going to keep talking. I'm going to email you later. Bess Friedman, thank you so much for being here. It's always great. You're so positive. I appreciate Thanks, that. Cheryl.